Hi everybody, I hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas and are still enjoying a bit of downtime in this in-between time before New Year. This is a common time for people to really think about what they want to do with their upcoming year and just think about maybe making a bit more time for yourself. And I have just the thing for you, why don't you come and join me in Morocco in June for a painting retreat, seven days in an incredibly colourful, bright, warm, wonderful country and we're going to be inspired by all the flowers, plants and tile patterns. You know how much I love tiles. Anyway, the uh, details for my trip are in the episode notes below. We've sold a load of tickets but we do have some spaces left and I'd love you to join me there. So how about that for New Year? An exciting first step into a bit of creative adventure. But if you're wondering what kind of things we might be painting out there, well today we're going to do some Moroccan daisies just to give you a little taste of the beautiful bright colours we're going to find out there. So grab your paints and let's get started. Okay so we're going to begin by just drawing in the centres of the flowers that we're going to paint and I'm going to take some permanent rows and a bit of opera rose actually, I'll just wake that up, move my painting out of the way just so I don't splatter it. Because the colours are so vibrant and we need to do them justice. So we'll take a little bit of that opera rose as well, wake that up. And buff titanium, it's always a really useful base colour. Okay, and we're going to paint. We're going to paint fairly loosely today. We're just going to enjoy ourselves. So I'm going to go down to a size four brush and take a bit of buff titanium, and I'll start with the one in the middle. And I'm just going to paint a few petals just by sort of squishing the brush quite low to the page. I'm going to take a bit of permanent rose, and I'm just going to dab it there and dab it at the ends as well. And the buff titanium can't help but be a little bit sort of uh, tainted or dyed by the pink that I had on my brush but that's fine. So I'm just making sure every petal is anchored in to the middle and then just dropping in that permanent rose and just on the edges whilst it's still wet. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so I'm just going to do that on all four and then we'll start building up the detail as we go. So these have all just been seeping in. I, they're not 100% dry, um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to sort of add in one or two extra little layers of petals. So just in the gaps there, just being quite loose with it. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of pink here and there, just sort of filling out the flower because what we're going to be doing afterwards is we're going to be putting in a bit more detail. But I like to teach flower painting in all different styles in the hope that uh, something will appeal to everyone, something will stick. And the other thing is, is these Moroccan daisies have petals that sort of don't all just behave in the the usual way, some stick out a bit longer, poke out a bit more, and just by dabbing them with that bit of colour I can see what I've painted, because it's not always obvious. See, I didn't paint one there. What are you doing, Harriet? Right, um, so again, let's pop in a few sort of more. So I'm just using like a size two brush here. And yes, and why am I painting these? Well, because I am teaching my next watercolour retreat in Morocco and I would love for you to join me seven days at the Atlas Casbah, which is this incredible castle, basically. A really luxurious um, accommodation with uh, swimming pools and beautiful views, air conditioning, beautiful food, 
it's going to be so relaxing and gorgeous and and gorgeous flowers in the grounds I'm so excited and I'm just really looking forward to it and I'd love you to come with me um, this will be uh, my only retreat of next year so if you've if you've been thinking you'd love to come and join me well why not treat yourself that this is the time of year that we start to think about what we want for ourselves in the new year and um like what's stopping you basically i would say go and have a little look on the episode notes there's a link there to show you all about it and if you have any questions about logistics uh, anything anything that's not about the painting basically then you can email uptrek directly and they will be on hand to answer any questions that you might have. Um, but what I've loved so far is we've had groups of amazing people from all over the world coming together in these really gorgeous settings. The organization is impeccable. I feel so well looked after, so I can only imagine how well looked after <laughs> my guests are. Um, anyway, we've got to the point now where we've got some really nice uh, full flowers and what I'm going to do is I've just mixed up, woken up cadmium yellow, cadmium orange, alizarin crimson and I'm got, I've got a size zero brush and I'm going to start with my cadmium yellow. I'm going to start sort of filling in the centres of these flowers from the middle with sort of dabs and dots, leaving little bits of unpainted space. Now, as I get closer to the edge, I'm going to take some orange and at the back edge, I'm going to sort of come right up. But at the front edge, I'm going to sort of concede to the petals there because they're sort of in front, aren't they? And then coming up around the edge there. And then lastly, I'm going to take my Alizar and Crimson and just dab in a little bit there. Maybe just a tiny bit. So that's the next stage, getting our centres in. Now those are all painted, we're going to take some Opera Rose on a size zero brush. And I've just done one here. What we're going to do is we're now just going to define the petals just a little bit more. So what I'm doing is I've taken a very minimal amount on the brush, down a few streaks at both ends of the petals, then cleaned off the brush and just sort of smoothed it up and down from both ends. So let's try that again. Bit of Opera Rose and I'm going to sort of imagine the petal, I can sort of see it there. Then clean off the brush and start to send the colour just up and down. Not too much, we want to still keep a slight sense of those uh, ridges on the petals. So we're just going to enjoy spending a bit of time doing this clean off the brush there we go wow what a difference that really makes so I've just done the top layers and there were those extra petals in there weren't there so what I'm going to do with those ones that we just see from underneath Let's just add a little bit extra. Oh, crumbles. Crumble versus the postman downstairs going on. So yeah, while crumble locks the house down, I'm just going to finish off these little petals. I've got hardly any colour on the brush for these ones, so just if you feel like you sort of take colour on your palette and like, oh, that's a bit much, you could always just sort of dab it off on the kitchen roll there. It's, it's much easier to add than it is to remove. Oh, 
So now we have our lovely flowers. It's funny, often I'm, I paint the stem first or I draw the stem in first, but today I really wanted to just focus on that. But now I will just draw in sort of where I think the stems have grown from. And I am going to just change my water over to get a fresh one in. And um, Moroccan daisies have a rather beautiful sort of light, fresh green. So I'm adding in a little bit of cobalt turquoise. But I very much want the, the, the flowers to be the focus. So I'm just going to paint these in quite sort of loosely like that. I don't want there to be too much focus on them. But what I will do now, that was with a size four brush, I'm just going to, oh, that's interesting, bit of pink. Oh, I don't mind that actually. Okay, so the plan wasn't necessarily to uh, end up with pink on my brush, but <laughs> I'm actually really rather thrilled with that. The idea was I just wanted to um, soften it, get a little bit more of the green in there, a few sort of nice wet little strands. But you know, if you want to add a bit of pink in, why not? And then I will just take a small brush and just get the base of the stem really sat up in there, if it's not already. And there we have a lovely little depiction of some Moroccan daisies, the kind of thing that we'll be painting in Morocco. So if you would love to come, maybe bring a friend, an amazing adventure in June, 2024 with me painting all sorts of flowers, plants and tile patterns. And uh, Crumble wants to just come and say hi because, you know, he's a little bit bored in the Christmas to New Year period, aren't you too, buddy? Um, now, while he won't be joining us in Morocco, I'm very sorry, we couldn't quite manage that. Um, we're going to have an amazing time. So if you would love to come and join me, I know you would then click the episode notes below. There's a link to tell you all about the Uptrek trip. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. But for now, I really hope you've enjoyed this little bit of painting and we have a full playlist of all sorts of things for you to try if you're looking for something to do in this in-between time. Okay, see you again next time. Bye.